Hello, 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 stampers. Just get this situated here. Hmm. That's a shadow. I thought that was a piece of cardstock back there. Okay, I think I got this all set. Let me look here. Okay. I am going to log into my Facebook page. As you pop on, make sure you say hello and um, comment where you're from because I love to know. Hi, Tammy. How are you? You guys got a ton of snow. I think you got more than we did. I am trying to make sure I can see my video so I can see your comments once. Okay, I'm in here. Tammy, are you loving that you don't have to drive all the way um, into work anymore that far away with all the weather we had? I bet you were loving that. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I get to work from home with my current job, so um, I love that because um, I love that my company really supports um, safety of their employees, um, and so I really get the opportunity to <clears throat> do my work from home and stay safe and not have to kind of travel in dangerous conditions, which is really super nice. And a really great perk. Hi Robin, how are you? I see Julie just popped on. Hello. Um, <clears throat> as I'm kind of waiting for people to come on here, um, I'll tell you a little bit about my week. And again, for those of you hopping in, make sure you say hello. Remember, there's a prize drawing for your orders for shares and for comments so the more you engage and the more you share this video um the better your chances at a prize <clears throat> so um i actually had a hair appointment today can you tell i got some new color in here it's kind of springy i think it's lighter around my face and um, I'm growing it out. My husband wants me to have long hair. I grew it out for our wedding. It's getting pretty long, you can see. Um, I grew it out for our wedding and then I got sick of it. I have really thick, like, snarly hair. So, um, I was getting sick of always almost breaking my comb every time I, uh, took a shower and washed my hair. So, I, um decided enough was enough and I chopped it off and of course my husband was very sad because he likes me with long hair and so now I'm growing it out again but this time she's been doing a great job at keeping it kind of thinned out that it's not like ruining my comb and giving me a horrible headache anymore so um for those of you who watch my Facebook page pretty regularly you may have noticed, I think it was Friday or Saturday, I posted that picture of our crock pot um, mess that we had in our kitchen, thanks to our dogs. I was trying a new recipe. Um, for those of you watching on my team, on Kelly's team, Barb and our group shared a recipe that looked really good with some sausage and some like frozen potatoes, cream of chicken soup, I think, and some cheese. Well, I had it in the crock pot and we used some of our venison, like ring bologna type smoke sausage stuff in it. And the dogs cannot get enough of that stuff. They go crazy. And I think the smell was just too much for my mischievous scouter. Um, so Scout got into our crock pot. She knocked it off the counter. The crock pot smashed everywhere. And of course she ate 
everything except the potatoes. Um, well, I'm pretty sure Dwight helped her. I can't say that she's the only one who uh, took part in the shenanigans. I know she's the one who knocked it over, but I don't think she's the only one who ate the food. Um, especially because Dwight looked uh, a little bit guilty when we got home. So I am pretty sure that uh, he helped her. Anyway, um, my computer just told me live video interrupted, so hopefully this is working well. I had problems last time. Robin says she's growing. Yes, Robin, I know exactly what you mean. Once my hair gets to a certain length, it's like I'm not patient enough to keep growing it out. So um, I made some cards this week. Well... I made a card this week, and I prepped the projects that we're making tonight. I was going to make this card tonight, but after I made it, I wasn't sure that I liked it. Now, I don't know if this is going to zoom in here. Can you see all the layers here on this word, thanks? I used... Um, Gorgeous Grape, let's see, Melon Mambo, Gorgeous Grape, um, what's the new one? Coastal Cabana, and then Whisper White. I layered those all together. I did some layering. I used our new stitched rectangle dies. And, of course, wrapped a ribbon around. This was a pretty easy card to put together. But I have to tell you... I am taking some medication right now. My husband and I have been struggling a little bit with fertility. So for those of you who have had those um, issues, you might know exactly what I'm talking about. I am on a medication right now that makes me really, really super crabby. <laughs> like got up on the wrong side of bed, major case of PMS like that you have ever had. It makes me so crabby and everything I make I don't like it. And so I'm looking at this card today and I'm like, eh, it's not that bad. But when I made it, I just got done and I'm like, oh my God, I don't like it. Usually when I um, step away from a project for a day or two, then um, I kind of like it again when I look at it. And I like it better now, but I did not like it very much. <laughs> And I put it together. So we're not making this card tonight. But if you love it and you want to know how I made this card and see it in action, I will make it for our next live. You just have to tell me in the comments here if you want me to make this card next live. Hello, Carol. How are you? Carol's on my team. She's the newest member of my team. Thanks for stopping in, Carol. Um, what else? We have a new celebration flyer going on. I'm about to flip you over, and I will explain all of that. Before I do that, you know, I have to have a joke. And, you know, I scour the Internet for these jokes. And you have to admit, they're not always good jokes. But I scour the Internet for them, and sometimes a joke finds you, as is the case with tonight's joke. Thank you, Julie, for my joke for this evening. Julie posted a typical Wisconsin night joke on her Facebook page, and I thought it was just perfect, so I'm going to use it tonight. Are you ready? Here goes. If a cow doesn't produce milk, is it a milk dud or is it an utter failure? so funny. I was laughing out loud when she posted it and I thought it was perfect. So thank you so much, Julie, for the joke. Um, you saved me a whole bunch of time because I was running a little bit late getting here stamping. Okay, I'm going to flip this around and get to stamping. That's what everybody's waiting for. Uh, bear with me here. Okay, 
I almost knocked over my stand here with just my light. How is that light? If anyone's having any issues with the light, please tell me. It looks a little washed out over here, but I think that's just the maybe that's just the glare of this. Oh, I have a hair on my screen. Do you see I keep going like this? I think there's a hair, but it's actually on my screen. So, okay. First things first. Remember, I will post all the details for my project on my blog. You can get that at countrycardsbyrose.com. I do my best to try and get these uh, replays posted within a couple days, but I have to be honest, we all know my day job is super demanding. I've talked about it a million times. I'll tell anyone who will listen. And um, so I don't always get to it if work stuff, if I'm working a ton of hours. So I always try to get it done by the weekend at best. I don't think I got my replay up until Monday this time around or Tuesday. Okay, prizes. How can you win a prize? Order. Share my video, please. I am looking to grow my customer base, so I would really love your help here. And comment. As you can imagine, I don't like just talking to myself. So the more comments and questions I get, the better. Okay, here's the deal. It's celebration. Here's your first celebration flyer. Everybody knows this well. You probably have already marked off all of the stuff that you wanted out of here. Um, you may have been sad like I was when the organdy ribbon was sold out. The foil sheets are getting close to uh, gone if they aren't already. I haven't looked at the um, ordering status yet. We have, of course, the adorable frogs and a couple really cool items, like always, um, or like they rolled out last year. We have two levels of free items, free with a $50 purchase or free with a $100 purchase. You can still order items from this catalog with your purchases until the end of March. But guess what? Starting Friday the 15th, you can also pick items from the new second release of Celebration. So in here, we have new items. This is a trifold brochure. Of course, here they are listing all of the items that we already had right here in our first flyer. But we're adding new items that you can add to your orders. So we've got this brand new All Adorned stamp set. This one was made just for the Stamparatus. So it's got some really cool corner stamping going on. Um, this one, I believe, layers over the top of this one. We've got some other, um, some really good sentiments in here. I love this font. Okay. We've also got a new uh, embossing folder. I have that embossing folder here. I'll show it to you in a second. We've got a new um, stamp set, Painted Season stamp set, that coordinates with Painted Season Designer Series paper. This is free with a $100 purchase. It's a bundle that comes together, and we're going to use both of these in our project today. So, um, let's see, Julie says, do you know if they're going to have the ribbon later? I am told no. My impression as I read the, um... As I read kind of the announcement from Stampin' Up! is 
it just sold way better than they thought. And because it's a limited item that does not carry over after celebration, that no, we would not be getting more of the organdy ribbon. So that's as of the latest news. All right. Now, I showed you here in the flyer this beautiful, what's it called? Country Floral Dynamic Textured Embossing Folder. This is um, the embossing folder. It is one of those thick ones. So when you put it through, you want your regular platform. You have your paper in here. Now a little tip for these thick ones, if you spritz your water lightly, your paper lightly with some water or alcohol, it will give it a nice um, deep impression when you put it through here. And then you put your top cutting plate over the top and you roll it through the big shot. Okay, I did that already so you could see what this looks like. And I noticed as I was, I don't know, hopefully you guys can see that texture in there. When I was looking through here, that the example they gave in the catalog, they did some coloring on it. I think they're doing this with blends. So I started coloring one with blends and it's beautiful. So for those of you who like to color, you've got another option here. Okay, let's get stamping, huh? Oh, how about prizes? Oh my gosh, I have my prizes next to me. How could I forget? Okay, I wanna draw winners for last week's, well, I already drew the winners for last week's orders, shares, and comments. So winners here for this first, uh, the sympathy card we made, Sue Bonnet. Sue, thank you so much. You are winning the sympathy card that we made with our watercolor pencils. I will do my best to get that out in the mail to you uh, by the end of this weekend. And Chad Schiller won the Simple Stamping Friend card where we use that shimmer paint and our blender pen. So congratulations, winners. Again, I'll do my best to get these out to you by the end of the weekend. And now... Let's warm up with some simple stamping. Okay, I made this card using that embossing folder and a couple layers with some of the new flowers from the Painted Seasons stamp set. So what's really cool is the this stamp set is perfect to use with um, all of our fun sentiment stamps <clears throat> and again we're just gonna warm up with some simple stamping it's funny how I call it warming up because I actually do sometimes warm up as I'm stamping because it can be hard to get in a groove. I'm thinking Blackberry Bliss and Petal Pink. What do you think? Tell me a color combination you would want to see and we'll do it. Okay. This is so easy. Ooh, what side do you Let's come in here with her. This is one of those distinctive stamps that has a lot of detail to it. Super gorgeous. I think I'm gonna go down here and then, you know, 
I feel like I want another one, but I want it in petal pink up here. There we go. And of course we want some of the leaves. So I'm going to use Call Me Clover. This leaf is also from that stamp set. And we're just bringing in some leaves here for a pop of green. And now we just need a saying. So I really like this big one. Yeah, that'll be good. Thanks for everything. Let me get a block here. I really want a nice dark image. So I'm going to use my black memento. You could also use stays on. This is not, there we go. I really want to make sure this is good and inked because I don't have layer that I can flip over here. Thanks for everything. That was pretty darn easy. Beautiful color combination. Okay. Balmy blue. Ooh, that is a beautiful color, Robin. What should we do? What color should we combine with balmy blue? Should we try, I don't know, I think Grapefruit Grove would be pretty. Or we could do, I think Calypso Coral would be pretty with that one. I think that would be gorgeous. Okay, so let's try that one. Call me blue. And Calypso Coral. All right, here we go. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love it. What do you think, Robin? That one turns out pretty nice, that balmy blue. That is becoming one of my favorite colors too. I was trying a new technique out that looks gorgeous. It wasn't working out, so we couldn't use it tonight. And I wonder a little bit if it wasn't working out because I am crabby from my medicine or if it really wasn't working so hot. Okay, now let's come in with our leaves again. This is how easy stamping can be, you guys. And we could use that same thanks for everything. Of course, you could use any of the colors that we did here in our card. Sometimes I just think that 
deep black is the best. Okay. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Let me move my stuff out of the way here. Our first project is done already. We've got a couple really simple stamping cards. These are super pretty, super easy. I love these distinctive stamps. They have so much detail. I mean, you can just see the shading in there. It is gorgeous. So let me quick clean up my stamps, get them out of the way here. Again, hi Sue, hi Charlene. Yes, Carol, I really love these together. Good call, Robin, on the balmy blue. Um, these were made with our note cards and envelopes. Perfect for a beginner stamper. Does not take, kind of takes the guesswork out of prepping um, your stamps. I'm going to put these away because I think I need my blocks again. All right. These, okay, so for those of you who haven't used the new cling stamps yet, these are the new cling stamps. Do you see how sticky those are? They are awesome. I got to tell you, I am really loving these cling stamps. They stick on so good. All right. Let me move these out of the way. And I'll bring in my next project. We're going to use the Painted Season stamp set, of course. We're going to use some of this <clears throat> beautiful designer series paper. So this stuff, you know, I've cut some up, but I'll just use these pieces. This stuff is gorgeous. So here are the different patterns you can get. We've got this beautiful succulent and then on the back, um, a neat design. We've got those flowers. I don't know if you know this, but artists actually design this designer series paper. They paint it and whatnot, and then they turn it into paper images. Now this one, <coughs> this pine cone, awesome. This goes with that. Um, this could be Christmas, or it could just be for a man card. Um, my husband loves to hunt. He and I really enjoy being outdoors, and this would be a perfect card uh, for him. It wouldn't have to be Christmas, but it would be great for that outdoors enthusiast. Uh, and then, of course, this gorgeous mushroom acorn and leaf set with the beautiful poppy parade. This is a gorgeous design. I love it. <laughs> And, <coughs> excuse me, you get, I think it's four of each. Yep, it looks like one. One, two, maybe it's three. I think it's three of each piece in here. Okay. Usually I don't show you what we're making until I'm done making the card, but today I'm going to show you this one ahead of time. We're going to make this really pretty pocket card. So we've got a fun fold here. You are not going to believe how simple this card is to make. Okay. So, I've got some layers cut here already. I need a couple punches. 
and I'm not sure what stamp sets we'll be using yet. So I just grabbed a couple with some sayings I really like. And I got some scrap paper here. Okay. I have to try and remember what colors go with what. Pretty sure this goes together and this goes together. Yes. And then I've got some scraps here. Okay, let's start with our super pretty flower paper here. Hopefully my desk is not too much of a mess that you can uh, pay attention to what I've got going on. It can be hard when it's full of junk. Okay, so first we have our card base. This is just one simple, not folded piece of paper. It's five and a half by four and a quarter. I'm using Poppy Parade for this piece. For our pocket card, we're gonna be doing two layers for the piece that pulls out of the inside of the pocket. This again, we've got Poppy Parade. This is five by three and three quarters. I will post all the dimensions on my blog when I upload this. Um, and the replay to my YouTube as well. This is a piece of Whisper White. It's four and three quarters by three and a half. Now we've got our designer series paper. This is cut four inches by ten and a half inches. Now your paper is 12 by 12 and um, if you have the Stampin' Up! trimmer, you can just fold out this arm and measure your 10 and a half here. But if you do not have one of those nifty fold out arms, you just cut off an inch and a half from your 12 by 12 piece. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna fold this piece of designer series paper in half. And then we're going to the top and we're going to fold it down. You don't have to measure this. You don't have to score it. Just fold it over, maybe about an inch and a half or so. And then we can, let me see here. I'm going to use I think I'm going to use some whisper white on this one. So now all we have to do is glue our card our folded over cardstock to our card base. And we're going to center it on here. Now, right now, this is open and we need it to be a pocket. So I'm going to take my baker's twine. I'm using Whisper White Baker's Twine. And I'm going to wrap this around the flap three times. And then I'm going to tie it. OK, 
Okay, now you all know my little trick with uh, Baker's twine here. I like to tie it in a knot first, and then I tie it in a bow. This is thin, so it's not going to add any bulk, that extra knot. Then you just arrange it how long you want your bow. Let's see. I'm going to want. I'm taking my. I think this is called the burst punch or something. Pop out a piece of Poppy Parade. And then I've got my two inch circle punch. Pop out a circle. And. I wanted to use this word love. This is not a cling stamp, and so I'm just going to peel off that sticker so it sticks to my block easier. And of course, I want to bring the flower in here if I can. So I stamped our flower here, and then with a piece of, what color it here, Poppy Parade, I'm going to stamp the word love. Cute! Now, all we have to do is glue this to our, I don't know what this punch is called. I can't remember. Does anyone remember what this punch is called with those sunburst type edges? I want this to go here, so I'm going to put my dimensionals on my card base. And then I'm just going to stick this on. Like so. Oh, let's see here. Let's bring in some of the same colors, our petal pink and poppy parade. go and I feel like I need a little something up here let's see what I got here I've got this one that says for you. Now this is a pretty uh, intricate stamp, little. So I'm just gonna do a dry run here, looks good. There we go.
What do you think of our insert? Starburst. Scallop Circle. Robin says Starburst. Julie says it might be the Scallop Circle. I'm not sure which it is. This is not... Is this straight? There we go. Close up my ink pads so that I don't drop my card in there. There we go. And now all we do is slide this in here. Cute, huh? Okay. So, let's try that again. We are going to use some of our other designer series paper. So next, let's move on to our pretty succulents. Okay, so let's do this again. Fold our DSP in half. Fold the front edge over. To make sure that you're straight, just line this up with the side. Okay, then all we have to do is glue the designer series paper down. This time I'm going to use the uh, Petal Pink Silver Baker's Twine. That's part of the <clears throat> Twinkle Twinkle Bundle, or I should say the Little Twinkle Suite in the big catalog. Okay, and we're just going to tie this in a bow. And now, of course, we get our white. And you can use a number of punches. You could also use your stitch circles or your um, layering circles if you want. It's up to you. You get to be creative. Huh, did you see that fly just fly across my table? They must have seen the sunshine today. All right, we've got some. This looks like balmy blue, actually, or is it pool? No, it's pool party. And I think this other color is petal pink again. So why don't we do our balmy blue. I think we might do black with it though. Sorry, this is pool party. Memento. And 
I really like this sentiment for this one. You're the best. Perfect size too. There we go. We'll just glue this on. Ooh, that's a pretty color combination. Pool party with petal pink. And then we will put this on our card base. There we go. Now, another thing you can do for the inside of your card. I'm just gonna stamp a couple of these. Is you're cutting off some of this designer series paper and I hate for those strips to go to waste so I just cut um, like a, I think this is a half inch strip and I can make it coordinate with the front designer series paper just by gluing a strip of that down. And then all we have to do is glue this to the base for our inside. <clears throat> there. And now we've got an inside to this pocket. Cute. Okay, bear with me, I have one more. I'm saving this one for last. because I'm the most excited to make this one. Okay. So again, we are going to fold it in half. We're gonna take that top edge and fold it down. Now this time I'm going to do something a little bit different. Instead of tying Baker's twine around it, I'm going to do some of this burlap ribbon. I'm going to wrap it around here and tape it on the back. I'm just using regular old scotch tape here. Okay. And then to do is glue this down yes Robin this one is so easy I have to tell you that sometimes I also get a little intimidated by fun folds this I mean you can see in like 15 minutes I'm gonna be cranking out three of these puppies so easy especially if you um, do like this one with the burlap ribbon and you just tape it to the back of the card. Okay, let's get our P 
pieces punched out here. Should we make this one a Christmas card or just a generic occasions card? Any requests? Let's see here. I can do You're the Best. Good idea, Robin. This would be a great card for you guys to make there. I've got my pine cone. I can't wait for you to see how awesome this pine cone looks. Okay, Sue says generic. I'm all for generic. So, what do we got here? We've got, you're the best. Give thanks. Let's see if I have any. These are all pretty big. I have a thank you. Ooh, I have this new one. Get well. Hello. What do we think? Okay, for sure we want our pine cone, so I will get stamping that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my God, it is just gorgeous. I also want to do this one in crumb cake. Let me flip it over. I can't seem to decide which one I like better. The crumb cake. Ooh, I really like that one. I think I'm gonna do crumb cake. Okay, Sue says hello would be a good greeting. So let me grab that one here. Oh, that's what Robin says, okay. Hello. I haven't stamped this one yet, so let me do a trial run. I always like, especially with these small ones, I like to do a little trial because you never know how much pressure you have to put on them. So, thankfully we have scrap paper. Okay. And, ooh, so cute. Let me just get my dimensionals on here. And then of course on the inside, we gotta stamp those pine cones. They're just too awesome not to stamp. And I'm gonna come in over here. Cute, love them. Clean this off. And where's my strip? I think this would be a good one to put my strip down again. My liquid. 
good glue is running low. Okay, let me snip this off. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. I love it. So we've got a nice outdoorsy looking card here. We can slip right in there. And seriously, I think it only took us about 15 or 20 minutes to make four, sorry, three fun fold cards. So let's show them again. We've got our mushroom designer series paper, the succulent, the cute, the pretty flowers here, and our pine cone. And then I lost my simple stamping cards. Here we go. Don't forget about our simple stamping here. Beautiful projects. I love these fun folds. What do you think? Can you make those? I think you can make those. Tell you what, if you make them, I will love for you to send me a private message with a picture of them. I love to see your creations. <laughs> All right, that wraps up my live stamping for tonight. Thank you again for stopping by and joining me. Thank you everybody for staying engaged the whole time and giving me all sorts of great ideas for color combinations and sentiments. I really appreciate it. Again, thank you for your shares. If you are watching the replay, you can also be entered to win a prize with your orders, comments, and shares. You don't just have to catch me live. So um, make sure you're sharing away on your Facebook pages. I hope that all of you have a great rest of your Wednesday evening, and I'll see you right here next week, no matter how crabby I am from my medication. <laughs> all right. Thanks a lot, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. You have a great rest of your night.